Alexa, turn on the light. Alexa, turn off the light. Alexa, turn on the light. Brian is ten percent. Brian is thirty percent. Brian is sixty percent. Brian is ninety percent. Brian is ten percent. Set to red. Set to blue. Set to yellow. Set to green. Set to brown. Set to red. Turn off the right. Let's get started. This is the ESP Skynet. Sounds like Skynet, right? Skynet, Skynet doesn't matter. It includes speech recognition framework, so we can use speech command recognition and the wake word engine very easily. So it can be like a Hey Siri, OK Google, something like that, which is very cool. Espressif also provides an audio front end framework, as known as AFE, so that these voice commands can work well even in noisy environments. More accurate voice comment control is possible because it's audio data obtained through AFE rather than directly using audio raw data. As you can see, AFE includes many features. It also supports dual microphones, so it allows us to use it effectively if our system has dual microphones. Not only that, it supports a lot of functions. In a nutshell, the speech recognition framework includes the wake word detection model WakeNet, the speech command recognition model Martinet, audio front end AFEs, the text to speech model ESP TTS. This is very useful and can be used in many projects, so please give it a try. If we look at the board list for using ESP ScanNet, they are all official boards of Aspressive that includes many functions. These must be nice devices, but I wanted to make them work on a very basic ESP32 S3 generic board. So I focused on making this scanner work uh, using the most common ESP32 S3 DevKC board and INMP44 MAPS microphone. Fortunately, I was able to make the ESP32 S3 i source code work with DevKC by slightly modifying it. Here, you can select ESP32 S3 DevKC, a branch I made. If you have an IDF environment, you can test ESP scanner very easily. Also, if you use Aspressive's offshore board, you can build and test it without any problems. Let's get ready for the test. First, let's clone the source code. At this time, I specify a recursive and specific branch so that my source code can be used. In fact, the IDF version is important for this project. Speech recognition framework supports IDF version 5.0, but the hardware driver with the microphone controller works only in 4.4. That's why I was forced to use version 4.4. I hope they can officially support it to work on 5 as soon as possible. For now, let's set up the pinout of the microphone. You can open it with your text editor. It's just a header file. In my case, I wired like this. Please modify this to fit your board. All right, uh, let me open the base code. I always work on all IDF projects in VS Code. You can use yours. Here is the main source code. Uh, if you specify the device target first, the SDK config file will be created. Here you are. Let's open this config file. We need to set the audio hardware board we have. Here, you can see the ESP32 S3 DevKC. Choose this. If you select here, add English speech commands on the left menu, you can see the currently registered audio commands. There are five English commands. 
but the English word looks weird. English speech commands need to be represented by specific phonetic symbols. I will show you how to add new commands later in this video. The wake word is selected with a high ESP. For ESP32S3, we need to use WakeNet version 9 and has only two English wake words for now. You can select up to five wake words, but more resources will be consumed when you use more models. Creating a custom wake word isn't easy. The dataset can be prepared by us, but the training dataset seems to be required the resource of the Espresso team, and this will be charged. If you need to make a new wake word for your device, please check it out for details. This basic example works based on two tasks, feed task and detect task. In the feed test, the AFE's various algorithms operate to create filtered audio data. WakeNet is currently included in the AFE and returns the detection results through the AFE fetch interface. In the detect task, when wake word is detected, pre-registered speech commands are searched through Martinet. The result from Martinet is based on probability. If similar voice data is input, you can see the probability of the most similar comments. The higher the probability, the more the user's input and the Martinet calculation match the most. I have added code here so that the color of the built-in LED changes according to each command ID. Many functions can be set in the AFE config. Please take a look at this part. Uh, for now, I have only minimal settings. All right, let me build and test it with my device. In this example, the standby LED always blinks. When a wake word is detected, the LED will stop blinking and turn green. You can see the speech command at this stage. Hi, ESP. Hi, ESP. Blink with blue. Blink with red. Blink with yellow. This time, let's add a new command to Martinet. What we need is to convert normal words into phonetic symbols. Since the Python script is already provided, you can easily get an edit. First, download a Python package called G2PEN. The Martinet G2P Python script is in the tool folder of ESPSR. Let's move there. This script requires pandas and numpy, so please install them if you don't have them. Now let's print words to turn into phonetic symbols. I'm going to change the hello world. Uh, we got the phonetic symbols about hello world. Going back to SDK config, add English speech command. Uh, as the sixth command, I put the hello world. We need to add a new action for the hello world. When hello world is input, you will set the LED to orange color. All done. Let's test it again. Hi, ESP. Hello world. The newly added command works fine. That's good. The voice user interface is very interesting. Controlling the MCU by voice allows us to do more. Especially in an environment without a screen, I think it can be a very useful. The quality of the framework supported by Aspressive is very good. This is why I love ESP 33s. <laughs> If we use this well, I believe we can make a very good quality IoT service. Today ends here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next project.